Good, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. That is Porter. Um, Boston Fire Department have a gas leak over here at the uh, the MBTA bus yard on Washington Street, and they're going to shut down Washington Street as a precautionary measure. From what I understand, transit has been notified, and they're going to be shutting down this area. This just, just just came in, so. Um, that's, uh, it's on the it's on the MBTA property, so they they did notify the MBTA technicians. So Transit and Boston is going to try to work together to shut down Washington Street, and I assume they're not going to let any buses inside there because out of precautionary measure, you can't let any buses inside there if if, if there's a gas leak. I hope no buses are allowed inside there because that's only going to add more fuel to the fire if there is a uh, gas leak. Now protocol should be no buses should be allowed inside there at all. If, that, if they let that bus go inside there, then somebody's not following the protocol. Should, he, that bus should not even be allowed to go inside. If, he, if, if that bus driver even attempts to go inside with that MBTA supervisor, that should be a major problem. Like, you shouldn't, like, I, until you get the all clear, no buses should be going inside there at all. Looks like he's letting them go inside, which is not a good thing. So Boston Fire is standing by. Yeah, he let, he let that bus go inside, which is... MBTA should have a protocol. If you have a gas leak, no buses should be allowed inside the yard. Because potentially... You know, all those buses could be a target. So let's see what they have here. Pull down the ballot, nothing showing. Um, they're shutting down. So they're gonna shut this down. Let's, let's see what they have. Well, that was call routine, one, two, Engine 42 on the outside. Yeah, inside the apartment, apartment number three. Ladder 10 on the inside. Is she gonna divert the cars back around again? So this is now shutting down the street. But MBTA has it shut down up at the top up there, don't they? I don't know how they're doing that. Who's, who's in charge here? Transit's moving down now. It's going straight to Boydsville. For some reason, it looks like you're calling back to number one. 135. Yeah, he should have hold like his post at the top of top of Washington Street. Let me try to get him on the phone. Okay, got it. Well, technically, how it should work, Boston should have the street, Transit should have the inside here. I mean, this is still Boston Police property on the city street. Transit should only deal with what pertains to inside of there. Uh, they're on scene, so they should be taking us over anytime soon. Alright. Allegedly, the gas leak is over here. I'm not too sure. So it's washed it, from Brooklyn to where? It's the um, the fuel station that's what's leaking. Let me just give you guys a you quick... You call it more, you call it new wash. It's, it's the whole way from here to Port Hill, basically. Alright, guys. Uh, Port 12 is taking Arbor Way and wash. So allegedly they got this, they got a gas leak hey. over. Yeah, I'm not gonna go over there. Where are you going? Walking in the street. Right. <laughs> Take off the two operations. I know. Uh, someone, someone works for the midway just called. Well, there's a person working over there. You see, you see that person over there? So, yeah, it must be the camera. It can't be me. There's a person working right by the fence. Ma'am, she's not gonna listen to you. I mean, okay. it's, it's the camera that so gets him, guys. It's, it's only the camera. You know how many people walk by there before you yeah. said something? Uh, I I seen a bunch of people walk by there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment on that. They see the camera, and they all get excited. But I see a bunch of people walking by there. I don't think you hear that hissing over. There. If I can turn this radio down, hold on. You hear the hissing? Pretty good sized gas leak. They might have to shut down the main valve for that. 
So the MBTA has a pretty good sized gas leak, natural gas on the filling station. Well, I'm not going to explain how natural gas works. Natural gas is very explosive, but it, it has to be some ingredients to make it explosive too. Why are you still letting cars come through here? I thought they shut down the street. I mean, if you, if you shut down the street, you shouldn't have any cars coming through there. Somebody's not. I said it time and time again. Boston police need some. Uh, they need some uh, practice on uh, shutting down streets. I see it all the time. They, they, they do all the main street, but they don't do the feeders. So that, that gas leak is somewhere. So I can, somewhere in there. That's so nice. yeah, it's, a, it's a pretty good size. I don't know if I can get it. That one. What's that channel again? Car one, that'll be zone I position 14. Zone I position 14. 2129. So apparently it looked like a bus was probably filling up and something happened. I'm not gonna walk over there, it just has protocol. Even though you know, I could, but I'm not gonna walk over there. I said, so right now MBTA, here's another person walking on that side of the street. And I, this is stuff that I don't really document, but I gotta document because, you know, You gotta see what I see. Now, no one, no one said anything about walking on that side of the street until I came by with the camera. There's another person walking on the street right there too. If you guys can see that guy, and I, I seen a whole bunch of people walking on that side of the street. So there's a guy right there. You can kind of see him in the shadow, but he's right there by the car. Charlie, can we try I, to call it one more? I try to absorb, from observe a lot of different sure. things. Some of it's important and some of it's not important. So the, the most important fact right now, Boston Fire has responded to the MBTA bus yard, Forest Hills, um, for a gas leak over here at the um, filler station. I'm not too sure if it's a hose or if it's an actual line. Um, you can hear it kind of hissing out of there. They should have a main shutoff for that. That should be just a quick kill. And I don't know if they have a safety kill, but they should have a safety kill for that. Like I said, I don't know exactly where it is, but they should always have a safety kill for that. And these workers that work here should be trained to know where that safety kill is at. Matter of fact, OSHA should get involved in this one because if these guys don't know how to shut this off and the fire department don't know how to shut that off, that's, that's a problem. And this is a title, this is considered a title two facility. This is considered a title two facility. I guess that's a, that noise you hear in the background is, is an alarm. Thank you. So all the all the cruisers are over there. All the firefighters are over there. Yeah, Blessing command, train train command to ladder 19, all out 3544. Can someone give him a call? And then for next street, 2131. I'm not sure if you can see or what. Alright, so that's what we have so far. I told him, yeah, I told him there was a bunch of officers outside and for some reason I wasn't rushing. 
They had a tool on fire in Matter Pen, so that's the fire department claim from a tool on fire in Matter Pen. I'm not too sure what they're going to do because um, the, t the MBTA technicians are not here yet. So I'm not too sure they're going to wait until they arrive. And it's a shame if they're the only ones that know how to shut that off. Even National Grid should be able to shut it off from the outside. But they, they, but they could have a feeder tank that's doing that too though. It could be a tank itself, but if it's a tank then that should be, that's all, all the more concerning. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to make sense of it. I've read it like three times now. 40 Ames Street. It looks like this caller is looking for a well-being check on his sister. Sounds like this is being threatened by the boyfriend. So the caller is outside of the address trying to make contact with her and he hasn't been able to reach her. Okay, we got it. All right, so there's not much else to see other than these guys are going to be standing by to get the MBTA uh, crew over here. See another vehicle passing through. Block in the driveway at One of the great gas technicians arriving right now. He's gonna probably see what he can do. See what he can do over there. I'm pretty sure it has to be a main disconnect over here. Like, there's no way you can have that much natural gas in a in a facility, and there's no there's no main disconnect. Charlie 111, are you able to clear from that? Clear. Check a residential alarm at 123, Glenway, Attention, ladder 4. Cover station 14. Attention, ladder 4. Attention, ladder 26. Cover station 37. Attention, ladder 26. Cover station 37. 2135. Boston Fire Department was just standing by. There's not much they can do because they're not able to shut it down. They're just going to stand by as a precautionary measure while the technician tries to uh, isolate what's going on. Operations to the Bravo 104. I mean, this thing should be set, set up with all kinds of disconnect shut off valves in it. I mean, you get that much gas that fills up all these buses on a regular basis and you don't have any shut off valve, primary, secondary shut offs, that, that's not good. And the question, are these people trained to, um, to fill up these buses correctly? I mean, we gotta look into that. Are these guys properly trained on how to fill up these buses? And I, I, well, I might as well say it. I heard there's, there's not enough training for the MBTA. The MBTA is top heavy. 
and um, the work is no more than the supervisors. And I heard that more than one time. The work is no a lot more than the supervisors. And a, and a lot of these supervisors were under the Charlie Baker administration, and they, they were put in there under his authority, but have no clue what they're doing. Now, I heard that from many, many, many people. So it has to be some facts to that. And not just one, not two, not three, but quite a few people. It, all independent of each other, too. Well, I'm kind of... So the station is staging them up on the other so side now. So they're going to stage up in case, in case anything happens. Hopefully nothing does happen. Well, you do got two alarms going off though. It's like engine 53, you got a hose dragging it on the back, I don't know if he knows that or not. So once again, we're at uh, Washington Street in Jamaica Plain, just just before Farmers Hills, we're at the uh, MBTA bus yard, where they have a pretty good sized gas leak over here. Um, they do have a technician that's trying to shut it off now, so we'll see how that works out. I have it, yeah, it looks like someone tried to give up. I don't know if this is gonna go on a safety report under the MBTA or not, but definitely should go on a safety report. We have it, we found a problem number? Found calling car No apartment number given here. Uh, last name Warner. Ladder 16. We'll be responding. Ladder 16 is responding as well. They're going to respond to Ladder 16 as a precautionary measure. Working on now. We're not. We're not evacuating. They said they're not going to evacuate, which is a good thing. Well, could. Yeah, we have it. Ladder 16. We have Washington and Brock. Ladder 16. You have. So they're going to have to shut down the main feed coming down here, I think, because they can't shut off inside. They might. That's not good. They might have to shut down the main feed coming into the building. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it might be easy if you uh, access McBride off of South Street. Yeah, South to McBride. You see on top of the feeders? They don't, they don't block the feeders. The car coming out of the theater right there. Um, they worry about the main roads. They never block the uh, side roads. There's another car trying to come out of there too. Fifty-three to car nine. This is gonna be a pretty, pretty big ordeal. Yeah, we're, we're all hooked up at Washington Pride. Okay, thank you. Um, I think they notified National Grid as well, because National Grid might have to kill the line on the street if they can't shut it off out here. But the thing is, I don't know if they have storage tanks. It, it, it could be a storage tank that, that's leaking too. It may not be the actual natural gas from the street. It could be the natural gas from a tank that they have stored inside. That's, that we don't know. Just a little further on that, so that female party, I guess she didn't pay for the products that she has. She's still inside. Take a quick walk up here and see what else we see. Wearing a black jacket, blue sweater, black pants. Uh, Alright, we're in route. Like I said, I'm not too sure how serious it is, but it's serious enough that they blocking off the street, so it's not a small gas leak. This is Burnett Street right here. Washington and Burnett. Oh. What else is ahead? Just a guy. We got on one. We got on. We just need that Look like the technician not able to shut it off either. He's just standing around. He's not doing much.
What is the protocol when, um... Yeah, so they're gonna call, call some outside resources, I guess. National Grid's probably gonna have to help them out. It looks like that female party um, walked out. I'm trying to get a direction. Uh, so they, they're not going to evacuate any buildings as of yet. But that, that still could change, you know. But they're in the, they were still in the uh, sure beginning the stage. So um, once they figure out exactly what's going on, The good thing is it's, it's a lot of open area, so a lot, a lot of that gas will just kind of go away. It's not, it's not an enclosed area, so most of it will just kind of go away with the wind. We're going to stand by and see what else they got going on here. Transit police is playing it safe. They're staying way over there. You know, actually, when you stay in here, you can actually smell the gas. You stay in this distance. So I guess the wind's blowing, I guess you say to the south? Is it blowing to the south? You can smell, at this angle, I can smell the gas a lot stronger than over there. Blowing towards like the southwest, I guess you'll call it. It's starting to rain a little bit, so that may help them out a little bit. Let's see. I guess he could, I guess he's telling get, getting it all clear. I guess, I guess, I guess they're giving the fire department the all clear on there anyway. We'll see. They said the rain's starting to come down. Sky 9 is getting them all clear. They probably deemed it safe. Uh, they might open up the street shortly then if that's the case. Like I said, not too sure like what took place, but definitely they they deemed it, you know, ca more caution than no caution. It's one of the. Uh, See how big the feeder is going in size. That's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good size main going into that building. Or, 
you can't call it a building. Oh, I guess you could call it a building. A structure. It's like a 12 inch. It's still 11. A little time on it. Hang up from the cell phone in the area of 1125 Center. I think they have two of them. I think there's, there's much, not just one. I think it's two going inside there, to be honest with you. I don't know where the other one's at, but I think there's two. It's called CNG, Compressed Natural Gas. Thank you. So um, Boston Fire Department is going to clear out of here, turn it over to um, the MBTA technicians and see what they can do. It seems like at this point it's all in-house. It's not nothing on the uh, nothing, nothing on the outside anyway. Car nine's clearing out of there. So take a quick walk down and walk back up so you can see what's going on. Looks like Boston Police has opened up the street, so everything seems like it's okay. National Grid just arrived. I guess National Grid's gonna get the all clear too. He came down here though. Well, right. who knows? They might shut it down. Water rescue. So National Grid's on site. I don't think they they might not need National Grid, but maybe they do. We'll find out how 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 well how bad it is. Look what we got right here. Brought up the big wigs. Got those guys over there too. Alarm is off. A water rescue this time of day is not good. So the alarm is off. I guess everything's back as normal. I don't hear the hissing anymore. Uh, but just but somebody inside this facility should be able to shut that off. You shouldn't have to call a technician over here to shut that down. So fire department is giving the all clear. Give you guys a little bit more footage. Channel 3 is the fire ground. So they found there was nothing, nothing to report. So that's local media. They're heading up out of here now. They got down here about maybe 20 minutes too late. All right, guys, I'm going to head up out of here, too. Everything else looks like it's back to normal. Um, alarm's off. No hissing. Gas is shut down. Um, Boston 
keep saying Boston Gas. Yeah. Na National Grid gave the all clear too. They they left out of here. So everything seemed like it's all on T property. Um, I'm gonna head up out of here and uh, if something else comes up, I'll be sure to get back to you guys. If National Grid leaving right there. Yeah, Boston Police and EMS. 21 Alright, it's getting wet out here and I'm not going to still can't get wet, so. It's kind of like sleep. It's kind of a mixture of rain and snow or freezing rain. So these grounds are slick out there, so if you're driving, guys, please, please keep the speeds down. I don't want to have to do a video of you guys crashing into poles and trees and stuff. Just to give you an idea how much it is. If you look at the ground over here, can you see that white stuff on the ground reflected from the light? It's kind of like hail balls. I don't know if you guys can see it. See those hail balls on the ground? I know you can see that now. That's three, you have three on duty divers responding. Do you want the dive team activated? They got two, they got a person in the water down there. I'm not too sure how he got in the water. Downtown on Commercial Street. I'm not going to check out those. I don't really like those uh, water rescues. I've, I've been to a few of them, but they're not the, you know. Usually they get them out before the dive team responds. If they, if they need a dive team, then that person is under the water. Bravo 102, is that going to be 14 Paul or are you going to be riding on that? Later. Well, I'm heading up out of here. I just want to show you one more time. Yeah, I'm going to have a motor vehicle into a snow plow. Uh, continue yeah, to get a noise complaint at 89 Ruthven Street on the third floor. Motor vehicle is active. Let's get a car in. Get a couple of images of the buses going inside the uh, bus yard. A little excitement for today, you know, nothing major. Alright guys, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.